Hey, it's Heidi, and here's my tutorial on how I do my Mara Jade makeup. You always want to start with a clean and moisturized face. First, I'm applying Kat Von D's Lock It Tattoo Foundation. This has great coverage, but tends to be really drying, so I mix it with a moisturizing primer by e.l.f. before applying. I had a few blemishes along my jawline, so I added some undiluted foundation to those spots to completely cover them. As I'm applying the foundation, I periodically use a blending sponge to make sure it lays down smoothly. Next I'm filling in my eyebrow shape. Bronze eye pencils are a great way to match ginger hair colors as long as you're using a pencil that isn't too glittery or metallic. Then I use an eyebrow brush to blend it in and work it into the hairs. Now I'm doing a little bit of contouring. This is actually a taupe eyeshadow from the Naked 3 palette called Nooner. I'm using it to define my jawline as well as the tip of my nose and cheekbones. After applying, I'm blending it out with a small foundation brush. Next is eyeshadow, starting with a darker shade, Factory. I'm using the Naked 3 palette for this entire look, but you can use whatever nude eyeshadow shades match your skin tone. I'm following that up with a highlight, and I'm also using the highlight to clean up some unwanted shadow beneath the eye and give it a little more shape. I'm using a small blending brush to blend it all out before adding a little bit of the darkest shade, Black Heart, and then once again blending it out. Next I'm drawing on a cat eye with my Amaterasu eyeliner pen. I have hooded eyes, so I'm drawing my wings to be extra lifted at the tips but flat across the top of the wing. There's a ton of videos out there for this technique if you want to know more about that, but everyone has slightly different eyes so just do what works best for you. Now I'm putting on mascara before my false eyelashes so that they stay a little bit cleaner. This is Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara, but you can use whatever you like. My enormous eyelashes are the Sweet Cat Style from Dolly Wink. I really adore dramatic eyelashes and these are really fun to wear. I'm also applying mascara liberally to my bottom lashes to try to balance them out, but you could also use a pair of false eyelashes on the bottom, I just didn't do that this time. Finally, for the lips, I'm using a NARS lip crayon to fill in the color. Whenever you're doing a bold lip color, it helps to clean up the edges with some foundation or concealer so that you get a very crisp shape. So I'm doing that with the help of my little concealer brush. Next, I'm going over the lips with a red liquid lipstick from ColourPop. This is darker and richer than the base shade, but it's also a little harder to control around the edges of the lips, which is why I'm using both products. To complete this look, I'm shoving all of my hair into a wig cap. The wig that I'm using is by Chrisima, and I got it off of Amazon. This is a lace front, and I've already trimmed it up along the hairline. Luckily, it doesn't need much styling, so I'm just creating a part and smoothing it out with my fingers. This costume is based on the Kotobukiya Bishojo statue, which is why it's so glam instead of being more practical. But I really enjoy the bold lips and eyes, and it's nice to be a little extra feminine once in a while. I hope you enjoyed this video! Please subscribe for new cosplay videos every Wednesday! See you later!